Hello friends, how are you? My name is Corbin Reed and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I made this DIY projector shelf. It's actually a convertible projector shelf that is also, when it is up, this gorgeous picture frame which I have the ability to take on and off because this is just hung up with command strips. So if that sounds of interest to you, then please just keep on watching. So this entire build is from scrap plywood that I had sitting around. This is a piece that had some 45 degree angles on it, I think from some floating shelves I made. So I just started by squaring those off on my table saw. I'm just cutting everything back from 45 to 90 and this will serve as the base of the shelf. So after I had those 45 degree angles cut off and I had just a nice solid piece of plywood, um, I went ahead and cut the back of the shelf, which is going to go on the wall. You can make this shelf as large or as small as you want. Um, I am making mine the size of basically my projector and enough room to also put the iPad on there because that's what the projector operates off of. So this piece here in the front is just a trim piece but it is also going to act as a lip so that when the projector is on there because it's on my stairs I want to make sure that it doesn't fall forward um, and it's also a place for it to rest and sort of angle upwards. I really did just sort of come up with this in my head but the idea is hinges will go there and it will open and close and when it is closed it will look like a picture frame which you will see later. So I just got these hinges from my local hardware store. I'm just marking the holes where I need to drill so I can install the hinges. And after I drilled the holes, I went ahead and screwed the hinges into place. And once everything was lined up, that was the base of what the shelf was going to be on the wall. So as you can see, that bottom piece is shorter and that's just to leave room for the trim, for the lip, as I'm showing you here, that once it's on, everything is flush. Okay, popping on here really quick. <laughs> explain what I'm doing right now. I had to pivot because the hinges I got were not working. So instead what I'm gonna do is build a frame. And so when it's open, it will uh, stop. There will be a stop on the wall, so it'll stop at a 90 degree angle. Uh, and, then, and then when it's up, it'll be a frame. And I'll put some sort of fabric in here. So this way we can leave this on the wall. Uh, all the time and it'll look good. So this will probably end up being a better option and then I'll just edge band this. So that is my plan currently. Um, I'll show you what I have going on here. This is square here. So I'll use pocket holes to attach this to here. And then when it's open, this lip will stop it from opening all the way. This will essentially act as a stopper. So as I mentioned, I'm just drilling pocket holes here so that I can attach everything together to make the frame of this shelf. <laughs> and these are just leftover poplar boards that I had. Um, poplar is not cheap, so if I had scraps, I was gonna use them. I literally used every single inch. This is leftover from my DIY cutting board shelf build. And if you haven't seen that, I will link it down below and in the card above so you can go check it out because that's an, also an awesome build that you can try.
Next up, I am adding pocket holes to the sides of the frame, and this is so I can attach it to the shelf here. Um, this is just the easiest way for me to attach it. So once the frame was attached to this shelf, I am adding the trim piece using wood glue. Um, I actually had to add some more trim to the back here. Um, I, I really made this up as I went along, but in order for this to sit flush and 90 degrees onto the wall, I and you probably as well, if you're following this build, will need to add a trim piece the same size as the frame, to the back of the shelf that way when the hinge is open it has something to stop on um, it's just part of this mechanism and there are so many different ways that you could build this shelf but this is just how I am doing it and it really was trial and error um, I'm using wood glue so I don't have to wait for it to dry it and I'm attaching it with brad nails this trim piece that is not just a trim piece it's actually like I said part of this shelf working and sitting flush to the wall when it's installed so as you can see here, I'm showing you this back plate here will be screwed into the wall and that um, extra trim piece that I put on there just ensures that this sits flush and um, everything, you know, lines up at a 90 degree angle. So in order to install it, uh, I used a level, a laser level, and just um, sort of turned my projector on just to make sure that this is where it needed to go and just sort of held it up and then I screwed it into the wall. You can make that easier by pre-gelling the holes as well. Then it was time to make the picture frame. Um, I decided to do this custom because I didn't have a picture frame that was the size of that would fit in the inset of that that initial frame that I made. Um, so I just cut 45 degree angles off of some pre-select pine that is sanded from the hardware store and you literally just do 45 degree angles on all sides and it fits together just like any other box really that you would make. And then I use my router to route out a channel on one side of each inner piece of these pre-select pieces of pine and I am just going to be putting an 8 by 10 piece of glass in here from a picture frame that I am not using. Um, it's like an old pottery barn picture frame. And once I routed out the channels, uh, I did them all about a quarter of an inch, I believe. And then I just sanded everything down and with like a 220 grit sandpaper. And then I attached all of the 45 degree angles using wood glue and spread that around with my finger. And then I went ahead and just reinforced those joints with a couple of 5 8 inch brad nails. So again, I did not have to wait forever for it to dry and also it just strengthens the picture frame. I did also use a right angle speed square while I was um, using the brad nailer just to make sure everything was was square. But again, if your cuts are straight, then your your piece will end up being square. And then after I used the brad nailer, I did just let it dry with a clamp on there for about an hour. Then I came back in with special walnut. Um, this is an oil-based stain by Minowax, and that's because I also stained the, f um, the shelf the same color, which you will see in a moment here. I just didn't show that part on camera. I also edge banded all of the bare plywood edges on the shelf um, because I didn't use pine to build it, I used plywood. So there were some raw edges that looked unfinished after this dried. Uh, I polyurethaned it as well. And then it was time for me to use those channels that I routed out and insert the glass and then also the picture I want. I literally just put the glass in with some Gorilla Glue um, and let it sit for about two to three hours. And then I came in with the command strips and the tape and put everything together. And this is how it turned out, you guys. 
as you can see this fits perfectly customized into this original frame that I made for the shelf and basically the command strips I just let them sit on there for about an hour uh, to adhere properly and it just is fits in there perfectly I can take that in and out like to interchange the pictures if I ever want to and it's just you would never know that this is actually a shelf for my projector and this works really well because it had to be this far back in the stairwell and we didn't want a clunky like ugly shelf projecting into the stairwell because the stairwell is narrow so it goes up and down pop the projector on there and it's really nice to be able to have movies playing when I'm entertaining or just to lounge there at night and watch movies which um, my husband and I definitely do often it's like being in a movie theater which is great you can also hook this particular projector up to a bluetooth speaker I'll be sure to leave this projector link down below it's under $75 and it's really great quality it's just a little light when I'm showing it to you here so you can't really tell but when it's dark it looks crystal clear amazing and you can hook it up to your phone or your ipad thank you so much for tuning in today if you enjoyed today's video please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos diys room makeovers all that stuff i have so much more coming your way and be sure to follow me over on instagram at story design underscore with corbin reed thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye